Hello, my name is Blair and welcome to another Science is Cool. Today we will explore this Pop OS by System76. So right now I'm here at our school in Sanabin in Konken, Thailand. We will introduce you to the photo P first. So let's go to the photo editing directory. We have the photo P, the alternative of the Photoshop. Let's try open this photo P. It is a little bit like uh, online photo editor. So file is a little bit heavy, just like Photoshop of Adobe. But of course, this is free. So we have commercials on the other side, but don't worry about that one. You can always just never mind that area. Let's just focus on this area. You can also pay if you want to, but this is open source. So they have the options if they put some commercial on the windows or in their application. But of course, just for their commerce so let's create a project right here let's click new so we have different templates right here so we have the beautiful layouts prepared by photopy photo editor online application so you can choose whatever you want this is absolutely for free let's use this one so that you will have an idea okay now we have already loaded our template as you can see we have the title and the subtitle so just like in our Photoshop we could always delete change or re-edit this one it is highlight already so let's try to change this one let's re-edit test slide poster so you can see it changes just like in Photoshop the photo P photo editor so as you can see it is already open and change so let's try to change the background so just like in our Photoshop we could change the background so let's try to change the background by going to the filters so we have the filters right here so as you can see right here we already opened this one we could change the filter right here so we have different types of filter let's lens blur this one okay let's try to depth a little bit let's rasper a little bit like that one so i like this one a little bit of noise and then just click and then there you have it it's already a little bit blur okay let's try to remove the blur okay the filter see when we remove the filter it is clear but if we turn on the filter again you see the blur at the background it is beautiful right so that is the photo editor of photo p the alternative for our adobe photoshop so let's try to close this one if you want to save, you can also use the PSD, the Photoshop file name. If you want to save as JPEG or PNG, you can always click the export as. As you can see, there is an arrow going to the right side. And then when you click, you have this PNG file, the JPEG file, the SVG the GIF and the PDF file and you can click even more right here so we have different types of files right here so when you click just JPEG just click JPEG of course this is not Windows so it lets you know that you're trying to save this file you click save again then when you save then you have your different types of file on the directory of the downloads so you have to change the title let's try to input the file which is test poster and then test poster dot jpeg and then just click save and then there you have it it's already done 
And if you want to save this file as the PSD file, you just click right here. Save us as PSD file. You have the options to save it on the directory document folder. And then go back right here on the name and then change. Let's type in test poster dot PSD and then save it and then there you have it it is saving after the notification it is being saved then it's already saved you can always exit this one so as you can click you just click exit don't forget spacebar sometimes it is not registering on your mouse because either it is broken just like my my mouse right here so i'm using the spacebar so don't worry about it if you have some problems with your mouse just point into the direction where you want to click and then instead of right clicking your mouse just click your spacebar but of course you have to direct where is that okay so that's it for now for our science is cool taking a look into our pop os linux operating system right here in sanambin school in our english program department so i'm happy for for this 12 years old computer to function again revive again with linux os from the tragic end of our windows os into reviving into linux so that's it for now for our science is cool my name is blair your science teacher in science is cool see you in the next episode as we ponder and continue the search for knowledge and remember that science means knowing because science is cool ciao